everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom block for single player client side Minecraft modding using Learn to Mod. It's going to be pretty easy, I will tell you. So, this is the Learn to Mod site, and I've already logged in. The first thing I'm going to do is going to go to Play and Mod. And normally I make a multiplayer mod, which is where I test it on my private server, but today I'm going to make a single player mod, a Blockly single player. So I'm going to go to my custom block, Blockly single player, it's going to create a little tile, I'm going to click on it, and click code. Alright, so these are the first steps to making my first client side custom block. All right. First thing that we always do is make a main function. Now, when we go into the Minecraft tab for different blocks, we see that we have a lot of different things than we normally have. So I'm going to go under blocks and go to create, and I'm just going to grab this simple one here. Now, the first thing I notice is that it's asking for a texture pack domain. I just realized I did not create a texture for this block. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab and go to Learn to Mod again. This time I'm going to go into my texture packs and I'm going to create a new texture pack called My Custom Block also. And create, click on the tile, and change. Okay, so here's the fun part. I want to make a new block and I want it to look like a brick block except I don't want it to be red, I want it to be green. Because, I don't know, I think it would be neat to have it kind of look moldy. So the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to first download the brick block. I'm going to call it brick. All right, and then I'm going to close the brick block. Now if you notice, brick is under blocks slash, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put blocks, oops, slash, I'm going to call it moldy bricks, or moldy brick, okay? Oh wait, sorry. I don't want to search for that. I want to add a new image. And I'm going to call it blocks slash moldy brick. Create. And now I have this kind of icon here. Um, it's a block, but it's just rainbow. So I'm going to open, choose file, and I'm going to go to my downloads and click on the brick I just downloaded. So now blocks slash moldy brick dot PNG is this one. And I'm going to add some green to it because then it'll look moldy. Um, I'm not the best artist in the world, and I don't want to spend too much time on my drawing. I'm more interested in the coding part. So um, some people like to spend a lot of time on drawing. I know TNT Carlito, he makes some amazing, amazing textures. I'm not as interested in that, so I'm just going to make all of these green and now I'll have a green brick block and I'll just say that that kind of looks moldy and I kind of use like a blue let's see let's make that a little bit more gray there we go great so I'm going to commit the change it's been saved and then I'm going to close it don't forget you have to deploy okay so wait a minute and then I'll refresh the page now this is called moldy brick and it's in the texture pack, my custom block, and my learn to mod username is Sarah. So when I come over here, my texture pack domain is going to be Sarah my custom block. And actually, I'm pretty sure, nope, that should be fine. And which block do I want? I want the moldy brick block. So I'm going to grab another text block and I'm going to type in here moldy brick. All right, so I'm going to create this block. Now, one thing that I just realized is how is this block going to know to go grab that texture pack? We probably want to add the texture pack to our mod. So now every single block we make can use that texture pack. So let's see if this works. First, we're going to add the texture pack, my custom block. Then we're going to create a block called moldy brick because that's the moldy brick block. All right, let's see. What do we do next? Well, the next thing that we have to do is we go back to mod.learntomod.com, but this time we go to cli or pages slash client download. Oh no. 
client download. Wait a minute. Slash um, page, not pages. Page slash client download. All right. So I'll put that in the description below. Here I'm going to download this jar file. Okay. This is my learn to mod jar. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to drag that jar file into my mods folder. Okay, so this is my Minecraft mods folder and normally you won't have already downloaded it so I'm just going to get rid of this one. Alright, so we have the learn to mod jar. Okay, great. So, let's see if this works. We've got this texture pack, we've got this block. All we need to do is open up Minecraft you should have already installed Forge. If you have any questions about that, you can come on to here and um, read these instructions. Basically, you need to install Forge 1.8, and then you put this file that we just downloaded into your mods folder. So I'm on my Forge 1.8 profile. I click, click play, and this time I'm going to do a single player mod because I don't have to do multiplayer because I don't have to have it go on a server because I have the mod downloaded. So. What is the name of my mod? The name of my mod is Sarah Custom Block. And I put that in, and we'll see what happens. Well, looks like it's doing a lot of stuff. So we're going to go into single player. Let's go and create a new world, and we're going to call it um, My Custom Block. And I'm going to make it creative so I can find where it is. And it's creating it, and hopefully it works soon. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so where is my block? We'll go into our inventory, and let's go to miscellaneous. Ha ha ha, there's my moldy block. Check it out, check it out. So cool. That's pretty awesome. All right. So that is the simplest way of making your own custom block. I'm going to make a bunch of other videos on other things you can do for creating blocks. So come back and check it out.